Welcome back everybody and welcome back to Boosted 2000. A little catch up today, okay, some bits and pieces. But first of all, remember I did the tray for the Fiesta RS Turbo? Well anyhow, we just fit it. Take a look at this. This fits absolutely lovely. Look at that, nice and snug. So yeah, super happy with that and a full feature of the car to come on the channel soon. Anyhow, my next job is to get Matthew's Barn Find Esco Corsair out. Hence, barn find, clickbait. And just to show you how nice and clean this car is, a brand new, new old stock arm as well, fitted in. Lovely, jubbly. Okay, so that took two attempts because the numpty Andrew Palmer, you watching? Numpty, balls the fob up. Anyhow, so let's turn around and have a look and let's get this car running, let's get it out and let's get it clean, shall we? So there it is, in all its glory. I have to board that back up. But look at that. Barn finds dust. Absolutely stinking. And do you know what? This is a shock, isn't it? A shock horror. This car was put by completely clean and everything. Last time it was used was up in Castle Coombe in Spring Action Day. God, look what colour of the white. It looks yellow. Anyhow, so what we're going to do, we're going to get this on a booster, we're going to get this outside, we're going to get it powered up, and we're going to give it a blast off, and then we're going to clean it up, and we'll do a bit of a walk around maybe, is it? Who knows, and see where it goes from there. But yeah, a bit of content for you guys, and we're a genuine original Escort RS Cosworth, okay? Big Turbo Lux. Let me get that in there. So let's give us a quick look over now. We'll check the water on it, we'll check the oil on it, we'll make sure it's all okay. We'll get that booster on, and we will fire it up. Got some lovely goodies on it, haven't we? Nice, very, very nice. Big shout out to the boys of Watkins as well. I know Steve watches the channel. He's forever lending us this jump pack. Thanks, Steve. And there we have it, right, the booster is on. Let's get into this car and let's get it fired up, shall we? Hang on, before we get in there, you're gonna have to have a word with more of this. Look at that. Oh, he's left the window open and everything in there. Look at that. I'm not happy with this math. Right, let's go, shall we? First time. Come on. Oh yeah. Look at those dials, they're just like mine. Oh yeah, I can see why he wants my old one now. Nice, let's let this idle just throw a little bit to so warm up, get his booster pack off and let's get his car out of here. Okay, so last MOT in this vehicle was 6607 and it's on now 66119. She's done like 105 miles from like that and I was literally to Castle Coombe and back. And since then he's not used it. Shame on the boy. Shame on you, Matthew. Lovely jubbly. There we are, and coming up on the right is South Wales finest rep. Okay, so let that idle for a minute. Let's fill up some uh, some buckets and stuff like that. Let's get my snow foam ready. Let's give it a jet wash. But most importantly, go and get my can of cherry coke to the left of the top garage. But yeah, I'll do a quick walk around the car now too. I'll show you how actual dirty it is, okay? It's absolutely howling. Right, let's have a quick walk around and show you this genuine barn find dust, shall we? This car is now worth 100, 150,000 pounds easily just because of it actually has been full out of a fucking barn as well, for record, or a lock up or a unit. But yeah, look at all that. But you know what? This car does get used and it does get driven and it gets driven hard. So it's a luxury. Quick walk around it now. And his body repairs, and then let's get this clean, shall we? Let's rock and roll. Thank you. 
is a magic moment. Got sun, what a beautiful day. Let's start uh, sponging this off and then we go into his wheels. But yeah, this car is an absolute 10 out of 10, okay? It's a big turbo and it does get used. Uh, Matthew does want to do a full and the bulk restoration on it, but I'm talking about it right now because he's got a new inlet and stuff and to get a new power, more power out of it he's already got the bigger car and turbo. Um, so hopefully we get a few more shows out of it over the next year or two and then obviously then we will be restoring and taking off the road. But like I say, he has got another car which is putting back to original spec right now. Small turbo, so let's enjoy this one first. One of the problems is with this car is Matthew's really selfish. He's got these big, massive, massive brakes, which means you're going to move the car forward to clean the wheels because the caliber's in the way. Watch this. Look at the size on these brakes. Apparently, they're the bigger size brakes you can have to fit under these wheels, and they're the actual different ET offset wheel to fit the bigger brake set brakes underneath. Okay, it's got huge brakes on the back too. Another then. Not even used, but yeah, and, uh, it's an absolute great looking car. And Matthew being a painter, he's never actually painted his car, so it's running on the original paint. He's had bits of work done on it over the years of his life, but it's not got any real products on or anything. It's still beading, it's still nice, it's holding a nice original shine to it. The car itself is absolutely great. But look at the difference, it's frozen white to diamond white. So there's mine, we all know I absolutely love this stuff, okay? So I'm not gonna get a chance today to use this on Matthew's car, but I do have it with me, and I'm gonna towel dry his car next time, and I'll get this on it. It's, it's gonna make it really, really glossy. This stuff is absolutely amazing. If anybody can recommend similar products, okay, hit me up, and I'm happy to use them. Happy to, well, give me a discount code, that'd be nice, or send me some freebies <laughs> on the bag. But yeah, genuine, now, um, I love cleaning the car, and, and I will shout your product out for you. Um, this stuff is absolutely really good. So it's going to take an absolute wedge, an awful lot of a good product to make me think different. 
but apparently there's other stuff out there, so let me know what you think. Anyhow, let's give some B-roll footage of this car since it's been cleaned. Stinking. I'm doing the wrong car. <laughs> nah, if I don't do this, you'll never get it out. We can't enjoy it, can we? Look at that. More YouTubes. Colour wise, I'm talking. Right off camera, I've moved the car. Jet washed the back number there. I moved it back. And now, because the brake are so big, I realise I've not done the rest of them. So I'm going to re-clean them. And I'm also going to clean this exhaust, because apparently I'm slacking. Um, and it probably comes up like new, so we'll soon see. That's a bit crude, isn't it? But yeah. <laughs> see more of this car on the channel what's your thoughts about it let me know in the comments and hopefully Matthew will be watching and he will say here you go let's take our car out because we always promise to do it but we're just always too busy so we need to sort of date that so you say when you want to see this car and we will get it on our channel and get some nice flybys um I don't know some exhaust notes and stuff use the GoPro or that kind of stuff but yeah we'll um we'll get it ready for you we'll get it out and um hopefully we'll see you in the show soon as well so he does a lot of stuff with Welsh Ford and all that kind of stuff as well. So hopefully we'll see you then. See you next time. On that note, quickly I'm going to swap a battery around in this nice little uh, Fiesta ST150. One of Matthew's late purchase, late dust purchases. And apparently when he went and go and pick it up, he said, Oh, you're Matthew off Dan's YouTube channel. So big shout out to you anyway. Nice little car. Like his ST150s recently. Matthew's been turning around doing a lot of work on them. Um, Smithy used to break them long ago. Smithy off channel of Evo. The dream car giveaway car. Um, rambling on now, but yeah, um, I'm sure you might want to see this on the channel too. It will be up for sale soon. I know that Matthew's going to do a lot of work on it, turn around, get MOT, and stuff like that. It's a lovely little car. I like the colour of the wheels, the stripe score there. I mean, it looks really nice. It's got a set of coilovers on it. It's a really good looking car. But yeah, um, cheers for the support and thanks for watching. And you deserve a shout out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to swap this battery now. I've got to be honest, that's a really nice clean interior. I think when we're going to end the video and get the two cars together as a treat. Right, I've done this a thousand times before, okay? Let's have a bit of a comparison walk around, shall we? Let's just do it. The cover of the number plates. Myself there, yep. So look, frozen white, diamond white. Moretz, original lights, okay? No grill, grill. Telltale signs. Caliper direction. Caliper direction. And everyone's like, oh, you rear quarters. So look, this area versus this area. That's about two and a half centimeters bigger. 
And there we have it. There's the two cars. Let's go behind. Obviously parked at different ang angles. So we battery straps under the car. Take a look. Matthew has battery straps in darker. Mine's parked on a different level. Spoilers are the same. Rear quarters are the same. All that kind of stuff, okay? Rear calipers. Mine is there. And Matthew's is at the top. Look, come on, tell me. These two cars don't look absolutely amazing next to each other. Let's go and check the insides out, shall we? Matthew, lever, lux. Dials. Mine are brighter, but Matthew's are actually older. And we have cross. Both accomplishments and achievements of Sandler's body repairs. So a little listen under this one. That's mine. And that's my burble. We're doing the exhaust. So a quick born and open shot. So there's me. Obviously you and Lupe cleaning. Gagging for one of the maxi things around there. If anybody knows for plastic, I was going to try and make one, and I probably will, but I want the plastic cover to go there. Um, if you know what I'm on about, you'll obviously know. So I want one to go over there. If you do have one, hit me up. I'm also looking for an aluminium, well, a stainless cap for that, and a stainless cap for that, to match this and this. Um, let's take a look at Matthews. I didn't realise he's got these in chrome. So I might actually go for them in chrome to two as well. Matchy matchy. But yeah, so I've seen these in black, but I can get one if I want chrome. But yeah, so we've gone for obviously the pro hoses, he's got the R500 cooler, he's got the rad packs up behind there, he's got the head of the tanks, he's got the bigger garage turbo, and the old strut brace, the aftermarket heat shield. This is a clean car. Runs spot on. Doesn't it? Right, there we have it. The car is buying its home, okay? All packed up, all locked up and stuff. Um, and it looks absolutely great, okay? Um, I forgot to mention as well, Matthew being a painter, okay, right? So he doesn't use any form of silicone in products. He doesn't use anything like um, tire black and all that kind of stuff in his um, polishes, purely because it contaminates paint and stuff. And then obviously we have silicone popping and all that kind of nonsense. So this is why we just had a basic snow foam bucket wash kind of thing um the car doesn't need it anyway but yeah i use different products on my car of course um and but i'm just not allowed to park outside front of the garage when i come down let me flip it around now and see us under the lights and then and i'll leave you with a little bit of a b-roll of a clip which i've done on my car which is on my instagram on def box dan and on my tiktok and it's really good it's got an audio clip on it i'll put it up right here now um but I can't put it on you. Um, it reduces quality and it's copyrighted and stuff. And because I'm trying to grow my channel, um, I like to click views that you get and the monetization factor. I get the page from YouTube, let it only be small, the page for modification is hard. Um, also, I just want to add as well, don't forget to hit me up, okay? I am probably going to Spring Action Day this year. I've also been accepted to Plus 44 and I'm on the Maguire's stand, Maguire's lawn, okay? I'm not sure if that's a good lawn or whatever, but it's a pleasure to be accepted. Um, last year it was all about players. Um, I'd be taking my daughter, my newest born, she's doing with the end of that April. It's that for me, she'll be coming with us and um, come and say hi. And I also have these new calling cards as well, which I'll flick out. Um, if I put you on one of my videos, I'll send you the link to it off. I'd like to feature your car. I really want to grow the channel this year, so I'm just hoping that uh, it takes off and it works, and I hope you are enjoying it. But anyway, thanks for all the watching and all the positive and all the comments. Don't forget as well, the person who won my t shirt in Raffle, they won my last videos, who still not claimed it, so don't forget to hit me up as well. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to flip you around. Hope you enjoyed that bit of B roll clip and leave you on an ending of Matthew's car. Thank <laughs> you.